He is the reigning world darts champion. He's the world number one. His name is Michael Van Gerwen. And now he wants to make his mark in this event. In his way stands Kim Hybrex, number 15 in the world rankings, who's never been beyond the quarterfinals in this competition. Welcome to the Civic Hall in Wolverhampton, where it's quarterfinals time in the Singer Beer Grand Slam of Darts. Dave Chisnell is through to the semis, awaiting the outcome of our next match, Michael Van Gerwen against Kim Hybrex. Belgian Hybrex season so far has been a mixed bag, but he knows that on his day he can pose anybody serious problems, including Van Gerwen, whom he beat twice already this year. The Dutchman has already beaten Hybrex 5-2 in the group stages, and his march towards a first win here in Wolverhampton seems a foregone conclusion after registering four wins out of four to reach this point. Your commentators are Wayne Martel and Rod Stutt. Michael Van Gerwen's tournament average is 92. And Kim Hybrex is 95. So Hybrex playing better than Van Gerwen up to press, despite the fact MBG beat him 5-2 in the group stage. That was largely due to some very, very impressive finishing stats from the world champion. His last game against Terry Jenkins, 88 average from Van Gerwen. And afterwards, he was very upset, not only just with his performance, but the fact that he hadn't entertained the fans, both here at Wolverhampton and those 41. watching on Sky Sports. He was almost tearful about his performance, wasn't he? He was. He's, he's just not happy with the way he performs. And Michael no, is, first and foremost, uh, an entertainer. That's the way he sees it. And he likes to show off, if you like, with his, his darting skills. 140. And if he can play well, all the better. This is a good start. Triple 18 or 60. That leaves 32. 130. Well, this leg has been a stroll in the park for the world number one. He can wrap it up. 140. In 13 darts. Michael, you're in hit double 16. eight at the first time of asking. K14 will do, and MBG. Start Second smoothly. I think we'll see a more concentrated Michael Van Gerwen against 41. Terry Jenkins. He was kind of berating himself a lot. Nearly every leg. And with that, you can lose concentration, but he's just got to let the bad ones go and punish the mistakes of your opponent. First one, 80. Netherlands against Belgium, battle of the low countries, battle of the high scorers though. Not coming higher than the scores that Hybrex is piling up at the moment. 140. Halves his score, well on the way to levelling up the match. 57, Emu 140. Oh, yes. Double 16. 108. Well, it's a funny old way to go, but each to their own. He's miles in front. He can do what he likes. Well, not the... PDC-approved route. The road map leads to double 16, yeah, and there he goes. The Very good leg from Kin Hybrex. 13 darts, so and it's 1-1. A pleasing start. Michael threw 12 darts in that leg and was nowhere near a finish. His scoring in this event has been off against Darren Webster. He uh, hit, he hit 57 more than I've ever seen him hit before, and that was a, a low 20, low 19, and, and an 18. You start trying to chase the trebles around the board, you're going to struggle. Oh, hello! That's better, isn't it? Thirty-six. 
surely. 170. Wow. Switches away. Fair enough. Still leaves the two dart finish. 44 could have been 50. He won't, he won't go for the bullseye. He's ignited. The world champion. Kim Hybrex is at 5 140s already. Sorry, six. That's incredible. Well, it's five more than Michael Van Gerwen. 81. Ibex is averaging 116. We're only in the fourth leg of the match, so. Won't stay there, well, but it certainly ball. shows the blistering nature of his start. Yeah, I predict the average will drop a bit as well. 140. Positively clairvoyant. Tell you what, this is incredible stuff. 140. Isn't it just? Michael Van Gerwen averaged 121.86 in a 6 0 obliteration of Steve Beaton in Championship yeah, League Darts 81. in October 2012. Dustin Darts thrown from Kim Hybrick, so every chance of another 13 dart leg. Kim is Mervyn King like in his quest to leave 32. 100. Definitely his favourite double. And he's normally lethal on it. James on the fourth leg, Kim Hyman. Fifth leg is Michael to throw first. Game on. Well, it's difficult to believe that Kim Hybrids can play any better than this. So the only 100. negative, if there is one, uh, for Hybrex and his supporters is that if he's playing this well, he's not in front. What will happen if he drops off? And Michael doesn't seem to be firing on all cylinders as yet. Uncanny. 51. Michael, for me, just doesn't look tight enough. Just seems to be lacking a, an edge. Don't know what it is. He's got to find it, though, because if Kim carries on... Oh, my, it could be in trouble. Kim Hybrex is a former Players' Championship runner-up. 2012, lost to Phil Taylor. Lost in the final of the World Cup. 2013 with his elder brother, Ronnie. So he's been in major finals, so a quarter-final won't bother him. Well, we've seen this already today from Dave Chisnell. Saw it from James Wade yesterday and Robbie Green in the tournament. 3 one seventy so far this week. Important shot coming up. Moving over to the left. It's not easy, this. Hit the wrong side of the dart. Chance. To take the lead for the first time. And in it goes. Kim Hybrex with two 14 dart legs and a 13 dart leg has the early advantage over the world champion. The business like Belgium leads MBG three legs to two. Welcome back to the Civic Hall here in Wolverhampton. Look at that. Kim Hybrex leads Michael Van Gerwen, the world number one and world champ, by three legs to two. Kim Hybrex is averaging 111.24. He's playing superbly well. Five legs gone, he's hit four tons, eight 140s and a 180. If he carries on like that, there is only one winner. Well, Hybrex started the match as a 9-2 underdog. He has the darts here to establish a 4-2 early advantage. 140. Another incredible from Kim. He's just found his, his range. He will dip. You, you feel, well, that's more or less guaranteed. But at the moment, 
He is relentless. This for 11 dark leg wants double 12. In it goes. Yeah, this is a blistering leg. start from the brilliant Belgian. Seven leggers might want to throw first. Game on. Fifty-seven. Well, I did mention, didn't I, against Darren Webster? Now MVG was trying to hunt the trebles down. Switching around the board, and he got himself in trouble in that game, and he's getting himself in trouble again. But that's mainly because of Kim's brilliance. 140. Well, back in January at the World Cup, they played in the singles in the quarter-final, Belgium against the Netherlands. The Netherlands won, but in the singles, Kim Hybrex beat Marco van Gerwen four legs to two from two 0 behind with an average of 106.76, and he was throwing exactly like this for those final four legs. It just obliterated Van Gerwen. 48. And this has a similar feel, but this is a much longer match. Don't forget, MVG, the world number 40. one, world champion, players champion, world cup holder, Grand Prix holder, European Championship winner. He holds all those trophies. This would be a major upset. Kim's only got to win 12 more legs. 97, like we require 156. Oh. Well, Six. he's probably as surprised as I am because all three of those looked like they were going in and none of them did. Well, he's going to get a shot at Bull, surely. For 5-2! He's on the seventh leg, Kim Hyrule. He is not missing. Eight leg is Kim Michael Van Gerwen must be thinking, you can't carry on. The head-to-head -head between these two is quite surprising because Michael Van Gerwen leads 7-6. 140. And Kim is only ranked number 15 in the world, so... Second for MVG. Is Kim one of those players that Michael struggles against? Is Van Gerwen one of those players that Kim feels inspired against? 99. Well, the possibility of a nine dart leg briefly flickered across our minds. Van Gerwen has had four televised nine dart finishes. The most recent of those a few weeks ago at the European Championship against Raymond van Barneveld. 94. Good last dart. Well, he hit the 57 in the first dart of combination, last throw. That leaves the bullseye again. He just looks so likely, doesn't he? The likely lad. And Gerwin will not get a shot at Bull. Hybrex to clean up 25. Looks focused. Now that is an awkward lie. Well, he puts it in from everywhere. You feel he can stand on the balcony and still land a double. 6-2. That's five legs on the trot. 59. As a player, when you, you're playing someone that puts himself in a bit of a pickle like that, you're thinking, well, the odds are in my favour. And when you don't get a shot and you go further behind, 60. you start to doubt yourself, is, is it my night? The good thing in Michael Van Gerwen's favour is the fact that it's such a long format. There will be peaks and troughs in this game. One well, of the last game we saw... That staggering contest between Chisnell and Brown. Brown led 8-2. And eventually was somehow reeled in by a rallying Chisnell who won 16-14. He did not leave until the 29th leg of that match. But Hybrex here is throwing beautifully. Beautifully. Treble 19. Tops now. This is a Brahma of a match. Sounds like it's Kim to throw first. Game on. Now, this is a match. A real match. 
the highest quality. High speed, high octane, tungsten. Van Gerwen has found his form. The last three legs have been stunning. It's on the nine again, looking for the 60. 40. Oh, from the possibility of a nine dart leg to the possibility of losing it. Yeah, high brakes is really on here. The hurricane is blowing very, very hot. This is the kind of form he was showing 140. just over a year ago. And then he's hit a real tepid spell, but when he throws like this, you're mystified as why he hasn't won a big pot. Yeah, it's quite incredible, isn't it? He's won three times on tour, but his TV form, his big stage form this year has been, well, it's been somewhat poor. Double 16. He's on the Kim Hyrex is seven legs to three up on Michael Van Gerwen. He has it all to do as Kim is averaging 110. Can MVG stop the hurricane? Kim Hyrex has taken control of his quarter final against Michael Van Gerwen with a hail of high scores and a flurry of 14 and 13 dart legs, giving the world champion plenty to ponder. Michael Van Gerwen beat Kim Hybrex in the group, and he also beat him in the group here last year. So he's two for two at the Grand Slam over Kim Hybrex. It's got to be said, it's looking unlikely it's going to be three for three. He needs to put a spurt on in this session. Got to win this mini session of five legs, otherwise, it's going to be hard, isn't it? He's just carrying on. He's carrying on, carrying on! Well, a seventh appearance at the Grand Slam for Michael Van Gerwen. He has never won this big prize. He was runner-up in 2012. And let's be frank, he's playing his best darts of the week by some considerable margin, Michael Van Gerwen. And yet, Hybrex is putting the cleaners through him at 7-3. 110 Hybrex. My goodness. 140. And that's after 10 legs. This is a, it's a good spell. It's not even a spell. It's it's the best part of a match. 140. Relentless. 127. Treble 17. That is poor. Should not be going anywhere near the three. You make sure the 17 first. This would punish MVG. Well, even though Hybrex has missed it, he's left it more than handy, and so he's asking a question here of the world champ. Can you, Michael? Can you, Michael? He cannot. Force the error, in my opinion. Unnecessary pressure. You just can't see him missing. His doubling is brilliant. His scoring is sensational. 111 average. Well, at the start of this match, Michael Van Gerwen was a 7 to 1 on favourite. Hybrix was 9 to 2. Kim Hybrix is now favourite to win. 11 legs in. He's halfway to the winning post. 57. Hybrix is now the favourite. What we saw in the first game, Wayne, being halfway to the winning post is not at the winning post. 100. Indeed. Another five to Ben Gerwin, four to Kim Hybrex. Nine already in the 12th leg. Look at those scores. It's the sheer consistency of Kim Hybrex. Ben Gerwin's averaging 104. And he's being outplayed. He's averaging, uh, yeah, 105, and he's won less than a third of the legs played. What on earth? What on earth is going on here? Tell you what's going on. Kim Hybrex is playing the match of his life. 
Another. The ball. 119. Well, that's what Michael's had to take out, really, to have chances of winning legs, because Kim has now got two darts at a double. Double nine now. That was unlucky. A let-off for MVG. First time he's shown any frailty on a finish. Tops. Big dart. Big miss. Big, big miss, and you would have thought... You've got the feeling that Van Gerwen would take that out, and it might turn the tide. Double nine. Oh, my. Look at this. Nine, three. Keegan Brown stormed off in the last match, didn't he? 57. 57. Chasing him around the board yet again. Kim straight in there. What a performance. This is absolutely incredible. Ten one eighties, five apiece. Hybrex has backed it up with more ton forties than the world champ. In you go! What a performance from Kim Hybrex. Two 180s followed by a big 20. Treble 20 leaves 36. This is against the throw as well. Doubly important. Kim Hybrex's form has been in and out, to say the least, all year. But come October, he started to find it. And he's made a real mess of this. And the last two months have been very, very good for him. Another one from Van Gerwen. What a steal this would be! Kim Hybrex never had a TV9 dart leg. He won't be worrying about that here. He's looking to go from nine to ten legs. Ten, three to Kim Hybrex. Well, this is an absolute toweling at the moment. This is just a relentless barrage. I mean, this is like watching Phil Taylor. This is a Taylor-like performance, littered with high scoring and clinical finishing. It is. We say Taylor-esque for... 96. Well, not very often, because you don't get performances like this very often. Yep. Well, when Phil Taylor throws like this, we say typical Taylor. I mean, this is just breathtaking from Hybrex. That's why... He's winning. Look at that. It's not good enough from MVG. That was, but those double stats are not. When your opponent is scoring like Kim Hybrex and hitting doubles at 56%, you're always going to be in trouble. We got to the quarterfinals here last year. Kim Hybrex, Adrian Lewis beat him. But after that, six televised events and not got beyond the last 16. Not got beyond the last 16. And here is a man throwing like this. You'd think he'd won six televised events. And one of those events, there was only 16 men in it. <laughs> and Gerwin can't hit that. He'll, well, on most normal Friday nights, he'd expect to be back. This is not a normal Friday night. This is not a normal Kim Hybrex. This is a man on fire! I can't believe what I'm watching. Incredible, Michael, isn't it? He can't believe what the Belgian is doing to him. He's giving him an absolute pasting. Sometimes it's not your night, but Michael Van Gerwen is playing well. If Kim goes off the boil, just a tad, Got to feel that Michael can clean up somewhat. Well, he can, but the thing is, he's got to go off the ball very quickly, Hybrex, because even if he started throwing some sort of mediocre 60. average of 90 stuff from now on, he'll win the odd leg on his throw. He's only got to win five more legs here. And he's not throwing mediocre darts. There's no sign of a let up. 121. Michael was behind Kim then when the first two 60s went in. And he literally shook his head in disbelief. Look at the match betting. Amazing. 
six to one Van Gerwen. When was the last time he was six to one for when the opponent was five legs away from winning? Dear, oh dear. 140. Well, just when you think you've seen it all. Well, high breaks here could be forbidden for thinking he's in the middle of a wonderful dream, but it's actually happening up there. Another. No. So 120. Well, I mean, you might as well. It's almost a gimme the way he's throwing. Well, that just sums it up, doesn't it? Needed the treble 20 and it fell out. Treble 20 needed. This is going to go. You know it's going to go. He had nowhere else. It was always going to happen. 12-3. Kim Hybrex is having an absolute perler of an evening. Needs four more legs for a place in the semi-final. He is pumped. Van Gerwen is in trouble. Welcome back to an incredible night of arrows at the Wolves Civic. Kim Hybrex is averaging 108 and doing a darting demolition job on the world champion. Van Gerwen is 12-3 down to Kim Hybrex. He lost the world match play final to Phil Taylor 18-9, but he could lose this match by as much as 13 legs. It would be his heaviest defeat in a leg play situation of his darting career. And he's averaging 102. Yeah. And that's what he's going to tell himself. 134. Both players have been averaging these kind of figures for the whole night. Now, can Hybrex see the job through? 140. You see the uh, leg averages, some stratospheric stuff from Kim Hybrex. 96. But it's hardly dross from Van Gerwen, is it? 15 legs played. 107 average from Kim, 59. 103 from Michael. That really is darts of the highest order. The doubling from Kim has been better. That's why he's leading by a country mile. And there the emphasis. Three times as good on the doubles. Kim Hybrex. 18 leaves tops. I was going to say, he'll be back for that, but there's no guarantee. Hybrex has had a 1-4-2, a 1-2-6, a 1-2-0. Oh. And he was a couple of darts away from a 1-4-5. Well, that deserved to go in. The first two were thrown very well indeed. The comeback's got to start somewhere. Why not? in the last leg. Well, you're right in what you said, Rodder, a few legs ago about Kim, a year or so ago, was threatening to do this kind of thing, wasn't he? And I know he's had some kind of family heartache and everything else. Maybe he's over that now as best as he can be. And he's just concentrating on his darts. 139. Kim Hybrex is... Just dropped a little bit, but as I mentioned, he, he could afford to lose two or three legs. Oh, well, there you are. He, he had about two visits off. He's back on. At the 30th of the night. 139. Two games of darts, the highest quality and the highest drama. It's not bad, is it? 30 maxes on an evening. Looking for a to set up, but 89. nearly made a mess of it. It would be typical if Kim would it. A huge one now to put Michael under pressure. 100. Only a ton. Great dart, leaves double 12, two in hand, only needs yeah, one. And Michael Van Gerwen in 14 darts has closed the gap to 12-5. This is great stuff. The world champion coming off the canvas. 60. In all honesty, 
when it was 12-3 at the break, you thought that the towel might come in from any lesser player, but not from the champ. 139. Michael knows that if he can find a rich vein of form, he can reel off four or five legs in a matter of minutes, so... 78. He's just worried about his own game. But if he can be on when Kim is just starting to wane, could we have one of the most amazing comebacks ever? Well, the last two sessions of darts, mini sessions before this, finished 9-1 to Hybrex, 4-1 and 5-0. So far, this one has gone 2-0 to Van Gerwen and looking like 3-0. 36. Crowd in the game now, even after that loose visit by Van Gerwen, crowd in the match. When Van Gerwen has slipped up, this man has been there to punish him. Brilliant performance by the pair of them. Well, they needed the 54 to leave 32. A chance now to hold throw. 60. Treble 18. Now starting to miss. Van Gerwen cannot afford to miss. Missed this combo early in the match. Double eight now. Missed it again. 40. Missed it again. And when you're this far behind, you can't afford any mistakes. Unlucky. Now double four. 53. Michael, Is this tide of change? There's another leg. Wow, he says. Kim saying no, surely not. Kim Hyrex still needs four legs. That's a lot, especially when you're playing the world champ. And when you are playing, or when you may have been playing so well, and you go off the boil, it, it can be frightening when you start to lose it. You're thinking, I cannot let this lead go, can I? Van can I? Capable of darts to send your head spinning like a merry-go-round. He did it to Phil Taylor in the Players' Championship last year. 59. The power didn't know whether it was Christmas Day or bonfire night. Here, he's looking at the nine. He winces. 140. But he knows there are bigger fish to fry here because he's looking to close a monumental gap. To remind you, Kim Hybrex led this darts match by 12 legs to three at the last interval. Soon, it'll be 12-7. Don't you worry about that. Well, what Michael can't do is what he just did with the last start there, just threw it nonchalantly at the bullseye and missed. It's no good for the confidence. This leg should have been wrapped up and he knows it. Cannot start mucking around when you're finding a, a bit of form, when you're behind, especially. 140. Michael, Ibrex leaves. Maximum break, Van Gerwen. Game looking to hold and does. It's now 12-7. Hybrid has the darts. That's going through the Hurricane's head. 96. Is he telling himself he's five in front, don't panic? Or is he thinking, I was nine in front, what's going on here? What sort of thing is happening here? He's saying to himself, don't panic. 43. Kim, odds on favourite for this leg now. Needs a treble. 57. Oh, chance. 60. Hybrex. Oh, has not found a score of any significance in this leg, but Van Gerwen has not been able to take any kind of advantage, never mind full advantage, and that is the visit Hybrex have been searching for. Must to it at least the 140. Well, that's a bit better than a 140. That's his ninth. He can't, can he? Oh, this would hurt Michael Van Gerwen. Another ton-plus finish. Sees... 
Kim Hyrex go 13 legs to seven in front. What an amazing game. What an amazing standard. This is absolutely amazing. Kim Hyrex still got three legs to win. Incredible amount of 180s. Incredible amount of 174s. My God. The treble's not big. The treble is not big. Oh, go on, Kim. This will be for a nine data. He's already missed the 141 once. He's not going to miss it this, miss it this time, is he? Would be his first. On the telly. Double 12 for the crowning glory. The brilliant Belgian has nailed the nine. Oh, my. My, oh, my. What a display this is. Well, you can't say it wasn't coming. The form he has shown in this match has been nothing like what Kim Hyrex has shown before on the big stage and it's against the best player in the world he's now two legs away from a place in the semi-final and he's in again <laughs> shades of mvg at the worlds you remember the near back-to-back -back nine two years ago he got one he missed the double for the second this is madness Rubbish, man. Give the game up. Oh, he must feel that he's buzzing so much his heart could come out of his chest. How does he keep himself under control, Wayne? Well, I think he already has. I think the the 180 to follow the nine data was, was it. it. He just kept it all going. I think this. He knows that how well he's playing. Why should he go off the boil? 21 legs in, and he's still averaging 105. Michael Van Gerwen has got to consider himself a bit unfortunate that he's walked into Kim Hybrex playing like this. This is just great to watch. Look at this! Michael needs to take out 206 just to win a leg. 54. Give me a 24. For 15-7. He knows where double 12 is, all right. Kim Hybrex is eight up with nine to play. 99. He knows that he will have match darts. Whether it be this leg, the next, the one after that. There cannot be an entire complete capitulation of sorts where he doesn't have a dart of the match within the next nine. Surely! Well, top quality professional sportsmen all have some days and nights when nothing goes wrong and everything goes exactly how you want it, and Hybrex is having one of those. 174! Everything he touches turns to gold. 140. But it's the timing of everything as well. It's been just one perfect evening. Kim Hyrex knows that he has the darts in the next leg. For him, it's all about the next leg. Michael, you require 40. Gives on the 23rd leg. Well, he doesn't look pleased, Michael. And so he shouldn't. Only. The match, in Michael's mind, is effectively over. But what he's just got to do is carry on and see if Kim cannot cross the line. You don't get the feeling that's going to happen, do you? 11-180s now.
and still he continues. 129. Well, he'll do well to sleep tonight, Kim Hybrex. His brain will be buzzing, re replaying every moment of this magical match. Michael will do well to sleep as well. He'll be up all night tossing and turning. Treble 20. 59. For a place in the semi finals. 16. Double top. Well, he's missed one. Oh. Double 18. Went single for double. He's got it. He's got it. And he prolongs the match. And he has a look at Kim Hybrex and says, I'm still here. I'm still playing. Could have been shaking hands and Hybrex hit tops. He didn't. Game goes on. Van Gerwen needs six on the trot. The crowd have already been part of one special game between Chisnell and Brown. They want this to go to the last leg. Michael's trying to make it last a bit longer, isn't he? He's livened up. Sixty. Well. One hundred and forty. Well, Michael Van Gerwen has almost caught Hybrex in terms of averages. There was a biggish gap for much of the match. Hybrex has come down a little bit. Fair 91. enough. I Couldn't keep averaging 112 for the whole game. Bull? 16. Well, that's strange. Strange. But at this stage, desperate times call for desperate measures. Will it matter? Double eight. No is the answer. Michael Van Gerwen has made double figures. Don't forget, he was 12-3 down. At 12-3, he was in danger of suffering the biggest humiliation of his darts career in terms of the margin of victory. He's at least made it respectable, but that might be all now as Hybrex hits his 12th maximum of the match. 100. Go on, Kim, and again. And again. 140. Oh, so close. Only Phil Taylor has hit two nine darters in the same match, that Premier League final against James Wade. 140. If you're gonna win, wrap it up in style. It's already at 140, 180, 140 in this leg. That was poor. But he's fine, he's miles in front. 57. Give me a 139. He can't go out now. Well, treble 20 leaves tops. And that's 99. ideal. So Hybrex now knows he's one dart away from a wonderful win. Possibly the best of his darting life. 40 points away from a place in the semi-finals of the Grand Slam of Darts 2014.